My historical novel, The Ship in the Hill, is based on the true story of the excavation of the most elaborate Viking burial ship ever found. And this ship surprised people when they found it in 1904, because it turns out it was buried for a woman. And at that point, they didn't think women were even allowed on Viking ships. So who's this queen? And I actually took five trips to Norway and learned the language to uh, learn the story behind this ship and, the, and translate the saga that explains who was buried in this ship. And it turns out it was for a queen who did not want to be a queen. Uh, she uh, lived in Norway in the 800s, and the Viking king asked to marry her, and she said, no, you guys are pirates. I'm not going to marry a barbarian. So the Viking king came over and slaughtered her whole family and took her captive. And at that point, she said, all right, I'll be the queen of the Vikings, but I will also destroy you. And it took her three generations to do it, but she did. She shut her grandson, shut down the Vikings, sent them to Iceland, unified Norway, and brought peace to the country. So in this book, I alternate chapters between the excavation in 1904 and the Viking queen a thousand years earlier who's trying to outwit the Vikings. So it's a historical novel based on a true story uh, that has some of the themes of Tolkien and uh, the Vikings, but tells the other side of the Vikings. They're not all barbarians. There were people working for peace as well. And one of them was the queen buried in the ship in the hill.